Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video on Gorilla Glue Girl, um, Tessica Brown. Tessica Brown has yet again did something ridiculous. And this time, the first time I didn't really blame her, right? I, I showed her some sympathy. But now she's just being ridiculous, uh, uh, stupid, playing with our emotions and playing games, okay? So I think it was earlier in the year, maybe last year, whenever it was, you know, she went to social media. Um, she posted on her social media that she made a mistake and, you know, she put some household glue, Gorilla Glue, on her ponytail because she wanted to lay flat and stick together. And then a few days later, her hair wouldn't move. It was frozen on her head. She did everything to try to get the glue out and get her hair, you know, moving again. And she could not. So we had to uh, sit with her and sympathize with her to the point where pro bono for free, okay, uh, a plastic surgeon out and I want to say LA they flew her out there they gave her the VIP treatment they had to put her under and do surgery to get this glue out of her hair so you would think after that whole scenario that this chick would never ever 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 do a home remedy on her head again okay and she also um she got a lot of uh, uh, famous people and celebrities involved. I mean, she was on every news station after this doctor helped her out. People were giving her wigs, and I mean expensive wigs. She was on talk shows. She got a, notor a lot of notoriety as a result of this own self-inflicted debacle that she did by putting this Gorilla Glue in her hair, which is a household product not meant to be on your skin, but we gave her a pass, okay? We stood by her. We understood, especially all the brown girls, we understood that, you know, dealing with our hair is tough, it's difficult, and um, we go through a lot, and so we gave her a pass. But now, she's being ridiculous, she's being just, just straight out stupid. You're grown enough now, and now you definitely know better. So, she wanted to cover up some grays in her hair. So, she goes and gets the over-the-counter the store bought dye she dyes her hair herself now you already had a problem with doing your hair yourself that we got you out of okay and and, and it costs the, the world a lot and but now you're going to go buy over-the-counter dye you're going to dye your hair that just started growing back after that whole situation that you did and now you're crying to us again talking about why me because your hair is falling out in clumps well, why you, Tessica? Because you don't make any type of sense whatsoever. And this time around, boo-boo, you're on your own. Shave your hair off. You came out with some hair oil that you said does miracles and grows people's hair. Use your own hair oil that you came out with. Shave your hair off. Use your own hair oil. Grow your hair back. And next time you get grays in your hair, if you don't want to embrace them, go to the proper hair care professional and let them do your hair. But I'm over it. I'm sick of you. We gave you your 15 minutes of fame. It was up to you to utilize it well and do something with it and maybe bank the money that you made off of that whole situation and, you know, kind of ride it out. And you're supposed to get smarter after you get in a situation like that. You're not supposed to do the same type of situation all over again and didn't want to post again and didn't want to say why me why you because you don't make any sense because you're not thinking because you're being ridiculous because you still want to do over-the-counter remedies in your hair on your own instead of seeking out a professional which you should clearly have the money for at this point because so many people did right by you after the first debacle so right now this time around we got no love for you at least i don't no love for you don't want to hear it and please whatever you do in life again do not post another situation 
about your hair, especially if you did it yourself, you, you, you want to mix up some home remedy yourself. I mean, come on now, think about this. And I'm not saying that anybody uh, cannot ever dye their own hair. But girl, you had a special situation and circumstance. You were in a situation where a surgeon had to help you out. You got to know at the very least that your head is sensitive. I don't even think it's been a whole year or two years since that other situation. Why would you test some chemical? Because dye is a chemical. Why would you test some chemical or product in your hair? You're not thinking right. So you know what? If anything, we're going to help you get some counseling because obviously you need it. Because you need to change your thought process on a whole lot of things. You're making decisions that just make absolutely no sense. Anyway, guys, I'm done with this Tessica Brown thing. It's ridiculous. It's nonsense. Why did she even think that she can go to some beauty supply store, okay, pick up an over-the-counter dye, put a chemical on her sensitive head, and dye her hair herself or even put dye in her hair. And I do believe if she would have went to a professional, a professional probably would have even told her, listen, girlfriend, you just, your head just got over something very traumatic. Let's not, you know, uh, uh, risk putting more trauma on your scalp with this dye. Let the grays go for right now. Put on one of them expensive wigs that everybody donated to you when you first had your situation and just chill for a moment. So no, Tessica, don't post another thing about that hair and about it falling out because you did some other ridiculous thing to your hair yourself. Shave your hair off. Use your own hair oil that you claim grow, grew your hair to the length that it was before you made it come out again and leave us alone. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. Let me know how you feel about this Tessica Brown thing. I'm over it. She's being messy now, and, and she's playing with our emotions. But don't forget to hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.